All right, today I have a Frigidaire, Frigidaire dishwasher, and I'm gonna show you how to use this Frigidaire, Frigidaire dishwasher. But before we get started, oh, never mind. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me show you how to use this bad boy right here. So this one right here, it up here says it requires or it recommends Cascade, Cascade detergent pods. And guess what I have? Look at that, look at that. Come up to the screen, look at that. Cascade Total Clean Dishwasher Pods. You can use whatever pods you want to use, but we'll get to, to that, all right? So right here, and it also says it requires rinse aid. Now you put the rinse aid and Cascade pods or detergent, you can use powder detergent, you could use liquid detergent that is for use with dishwashers. It all depends on up to you. I happen to use Cascade, Cascade Total Clean. All right, so I have one of the Cascade Total Clean dishwasher pods, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna place it where it goes. Now, what I do is, you place it in the compartment for the detergent right here. If it's perfectly for the pods, you can put liquid detergent in there, you can put powder detergent, but it has to be dishwasher detergent. So, once you put it in there, you close it, and then right here is where you put dishwasher rinse aid. Now, you put this in here, you don't have to put this in every single time, I usually, depending on how much I wash, typically about maybe once a month. And you just fill up the dishwasher rinse aid. You put it in here and you just fill this little thing up. It goes down inside of here. And the rinse aid, it actually assists with drying the dishes. So if you have wet dishes after the wash and dry is complete, it means, it probably means you don't have enough rinse aid in your dishwasher, okay? All right, so right here, and the indicative light is right here. I don't currently have no rinse aid inside of here, so my dishes should be partially wet when done. That's unfortunate. I don't have any rinse aid, but if you have rinse aid, pour it in here, fill it up, it'll show this, the color of the rinse aid right here when it is full. After you do that, you close that, okay? Once you do that, and then you load your dishes. I have this loaded all, probably not recommended uh, how the uh, Frigidaire says to load it, but what I typically do, I put pots and plates on this side down here at the bottom. You can put forks, spoons, knives, utensils in here. This actually can be removed, so if you need more real estate with washing, with washing, you can remove this and have more real estate and actually put the forks, knives, spoons at the top. Now this doesn't get them as clean usually as putting it down here, but sometimes it does. But this is an area where you can put large utensils, you can put forks, spoons, knives, all this other stuff right here at the top rack and move, remove this for more real estate down here to put more pots, pans, plates, or whatever. All right, and at the top shelf right here, you load up the top shelf. I generally put the cups all right here, some bowls, plastic bowls at the top. I had so many plastic bowls that left them at the bottom, but you can get away with it, you can. That's how I do it, but I say go with what Frigidaire recommends. All right, so you do that, you close that. Now it's important when you put the dishes in that none of the dishes exceed the level of the, the drawer. Do you see this? Don't let anything stick below, and I'll tell you why. So if you look in here, you'll see this right here. This is the spinning arm right here. Now this right here, it spins around and shoots out water. There's one at the top as well. And there's one at the very top, 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 that you can't see. Now, it is, it is crucial that these spin around in order to expel water to wash the dishes. So don't have anything sticking below the shelves that you have right here. And now while you're in here, I'm gonna show you, this is the spinning arm at the bottom, but also there is a filter right here. Do you see this right here? This is the filter. Now, you will need to take this out and clean this occasionally. You just simply turn it that way. Move the arm, it's kind of funny. This is how you clean the filter, you pull it out, and if there's any food or anything out down there, you totally remove that. You remove this right here, and you clean the inside and outside of this. Now it's important that you do it, I use an old toothbrush, because if you, this is clogged up, the dishwasher not wash function. So what I do is just bring this over to the sink, wash this with a little bit of soap, Rinse it, make sure the soap is out. All right, and then down here, I move this. This is fine mesh grate. Go ahead, rinse it the same way underneath the sink. If you have calcium on there, 
Sometimes I use a calcium remover, build up, and make sure that it's clean down there. And after you've done all that, you're gonna go ahead and take the filter screen, place that down there, take this, spin that into place right there, all right, and clean up any debris down there. And that's how you clean the filter on the refrigerator, refrigerator dishwasher, this particular one. All right, so now you have all that, you have it all loaded. We're gonna close it up. And then we're gonna get to the controls. Now, if you see the top of this right here, it says Frigidaire, Frigidaire, all right? Now, there's controls right here. There's all of these. You have heavy wash, you have normal wash, China Crystal, Energy Saver, rinse only. You have another option of washer pressure. You have surge spray, wash temperature. You can change the temperature, dry, you can adjust the dry, the dry time, the lay time, all of this. We're gonna go over this. So I'm gonna start over here by selecting the type of wash I have. You have heavy wash. Generally, if I have it loaded and the dishes are really cruddy, I'll go with heavy wash. If it's really almost overpacked, I will uh, use heavy wash. Normal wash for day to day. China crystal, if I have China crystal in there. All right, the fine dishes, you can make the selection right there. So I'm gonna, you have energy saver, which saves energy, but probably wouldn't wash as well as a normal wash. You have rinse only to rinse out the dishes. If you just need to rinse them and then probably wash them later, there is a rinse function. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my selection. I selected normal by pressing that. If I want heavy, I can go to heavy. China crystal, I can go to China crystal. Rinse, energy saver. Now, if you notice when I'm pressing these buttons, if you look over here to the side, you'll see that some of these other things have cha changed when I press it. So say for instance, I'm gonna press heavy wash. And you see it goes automatically to high temperature. Getting closer so you can see that. Automatically to high temperature. Dry heat, right here, it's not air. Now if I had this on crystal china, it would go to air dry. And right here it shows you the time right here. And then also I use the option of sanitizing. So like, let me go ahead and press this. China crystal, you have the heat option. You have hair, heat, it just goes to that. Energy saver, now watch this, energy saver, it goes to the selection of air drying. Why? Because it dries with just the air and not heat, which is saving energy, okay? And notice the time changes right here. All right, spray wash, it has surge. You can spray, surge, you have option right here, temperature. It goes to normal with the energy saver. Rinse only, you see right here, it has a surge spray. There's no drying, it's just rinsing. Normal has selection right here, but you can change it. You can have the high temperature for the normal wash, and you can also have a sanitized feature. Now, what that does is it heats the temperature in the water to such a high temperature that it sanitizes the dishes, all right? So if you have sensitive dishes in there, like uh, Grandmama's China, you may not want to use high temperature. Uh, temperature. I'm going to go to heavy, and you have all of this, okay? And so, uh, right here is indication of clean, sanitize if you, when it gets there to let you know that it's done, okay? All right, so these are the wash functions. So the wash pressure, surge, is more of a pressure, and then spray is lesser of a pressure, and then the wash temperature, normal, high, and sanitize, Okay, normal, high temperature, and then sanitize with the high temperature. Okay, you have that option. That's what I'm going to go with. All right, so you have that. All right, so once we have, go over that. I'm going to show you right here is the delay time. So say, for instance, you put the dishes in there, but you don't want it running right away. So you can delay the time for when the dishes are done. Okay, and you come over here by simply come over here to this delay time feature. So this wash currently at uh, 143 minutes. You can change the delay to one hour. And if you keep on pressing it, it goes all the way up to 24 hours, okay? You can delay the wash for 24 hours. And once you get to 24 hours, it just loops back around to the default setting of no delay, all right? Just like that, all right? So once you have that, you all you have to do is press start to get to wash. But before we get to that, uh, I'm going to show you the how to lock and unlock the dishwasher. So you simply just cut, how do you lock and unlock the dishwasher on this particular Frigidaire, Frigidaire dishwasher. All right, so say for instance, you have this open. You don't need to have 
uh, a selection for the wash or anything. I mean, you can, but once you do that and you put the lock in, you have it so no one can adjust it. So I'm going to show you how to turn it in, turn it on, and turn it off. All right. So what I'm going to do is, if you come up here, there are two buttons. There's a dry button and there's a the delay time button. And it says right here, hold three seconds to lock. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put one finger, one digit on dry, one digit on delay time. I'm going to hold it. Nothing happens. So what I'm going to do is turn it on, come over here. And you see that? I held it and it says lock. So once it is on, you go to the lock feature. I didn't start it yet, but the lock feature is on right here now. So no one can come up and press a button and start the dishwasher now that I have the lock feature on. Now to turn it off, what I'm going to do is you can't press any buttons over here. So what you do is come over here and you go to those same buttons, the dry and the delay time, hold it for three seconds. All right, and that is how you turn on and off the the uh, the lock feature on the Frigidaire dishwasher. Now let's go ahead and start the dishwasher. All of these are, have been selected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and press start. And once I press start, just make sure it's completely shut, and that's how you start the dishwasher. Before you know it, you'll have clean dishes. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.